What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to make a log build system like in Sons of the Forest. It's going to be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so this is a continuation of my place build tutorial, which I will be linking in the description. So first of all, you need to do that tutorial to end up with this simple build place system where you can go ahead and have a viewport and start to place little meshes over here. But now of course we're gonna convert this to place logs and basically create this log system um, that we have for example in Sons of the Forest. So let's begin by importing the log mesh. So in my case I'm gonna go up into window and go and open up Quixel Bridge as I am going to be using Quixel Bridge asset. Alright now with this I'm gonna go ahead and search for a log. So we can just search for log and we have a whole bunch of them. In my case I believe I already have this one which is the old wooden log. So I'm gonna select highest quality nanite, download it and just add it into my project and here we go, I have it here, as simple as that. So the first thing that we're going to do is change the pivot of this mesh because if we were to place a build right from our right cast system and line trace, we will end up with basically the log being like this, half into the floor because the pivot is here. So what we need to do is move it into the uh, bottom of this. So with this log in our level and rotate it 90 degrees on the y-axis What I am going to do is go up here into the modeling mode Then select the X form and edit pivot and now this tool allows us to basically go and get This red line which is basically changing the axis downwards and now I'm gonna go ahead and see around here where we can go ahead and place our log. Gonna disable snapping, so it's gonna be a bit easier. And I think that that's nearly, there we go, perfect. So with that said, now we can just accept and boom. This pivot change will be applied to the static mesh asset in the content browser. So just to, you know, as a heads up, this will update all the static mesh of this kind. So if I drag one here, you can see that now, it will have the pivot there. So great, now we're gonna go ahead and save. Now we can just delete this one. And now we need to modify, you know, our build. So let's double click on this and we can see I have the build over here. But I'm gonna make things a bit nicer and just right click and create a child. And this will be M underscore build underscore log. With that said, now I can open this child and I can edit the mesh to be, of course, our log. So it will be this one over here. And we're gonna leave it like this, compile, save. And now if I go and open back my third person character blueprint, where we spawn the build, it's gonna be changed to, of course, our log build, as you can see. And now when I press play, I spawn this log. But of course, what is happening here? Well, as you can see, the preview mesh is still our um, little and table. So we need to go up where we go and create the static mesh. I'm gonna select the other static mesh, which will basically be our log. And now when we press play, we can see our log and we can start to place it in our level. And there we go. But of course the orientation of this is basically wrong. So we need to go ahead and edit this too. So I'm gonna go into the build log, select this and add a 90 degrees into the Y. So now we're getting things forward. Now when we place it, it will appear like this. So now we have the orientation of our build correct, but of our preview wrong. So what we're going to do is go to third person character, go to our event tick where we update the transform of this line trace, well, scene component, which is our preview mesh. And the only thing we need to do is pass the rotation, you know, pin into there and boom. Now it is working. Now this is incorrect, right? As you can see over here. When we place the build, it isn't being applied. We also need to do that in this case. So we're gonna go ahead and right click on the build, promote variable, and this will be the uh, build place rotation. And we will set it right over here. And then here we'll basically bring it in. And now we're gonna see that when we place it, it places like this, because we need to actually reset now the rotation because it will automatically do it. And now, yes, we can go and place our logs whenever it's good. And as you can see, it will work perfectly. So we can start to build a kind of, you know, fortress over here and maybe make a little 
um you know mm, door but this doesn't have any collision at all <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and open up the build log uh, open up the static mesh and basically enable a uh, we're gonna do an auto convex well actually yeah uh, i think a capsule will work uh, maybe it's a bit too big but now we can start to place our mesh here and then we can do this to make for example as you can see a door right and as you can see now this works so we just need to add some collision of course and well there we go everything is going ahead and working we can begin to basically build our own things with our log and as an extra bonus thing what i am going to do is do a pickable object so let's right click create a new blueprint class actor bp let's do pick up log so let's open this up and this will basically be a static mesh which of course will be the log itself so let me find log over here and then what i am going to do is add a collision which is going to be a sphere collision and this will go under the uh, default scene root and this will be the trigger so in this area our player can basically pick up this log i'm going to make sure that it's set as overlap all dynamic let's make it a bit bigger and now on here okay i'm gonna go and actually make the log the parent of this so we can enable simulate physics increase the mass to 200 and now basically if we drag in this log is on the level and has physics which i'm actually pushing with this preview so we need to also disable the physics on the preview so on here where we get the preview we're gonna set the collision enabled to be no collision so now we cannot push our log with physics as you can see anyway now we can go ahead and basically interact with this well not yet we need to do something more which is going to be creating an interface so let's create an interface this will be bpi underscore log or actually just build and this will be pick up all right so i'm gonna make a simple compile save and close and now on the pickup log, we're going to go into class settings and add this interface. And the interface will allow us to communicate with this blueprint and the player without needing a direct reference to the class. So now if I double click on here, I can basically do things as, for example, destroy actor, right? And I can now go to the third person character, go into here and do an E key event. So when we press the E key. And then what I want to do is do a for each loop. Why am I doing it for each loop? Well, the thing is that we can access the get overlapping actors array of our player. And as you can see, we added on the pickup log this trigger, this collision. And if the player is inside of this radius, which should be set as overlap or dynamic so we can go inside of this radius, it will detect it as an overlapping actor. That way we can go through all the overlapping actors and just check if it does implement the interface of BPI build. And if so, that means that it is a log that we can pick up, right? That we're literally standing inside of the trigger. So we're gonna go ahead and do the pickup message from there. As you can see, we don't need to directly go and do a cast to BP pickup log. We can just do a pickup and that's it. So now if I go, I can go and delete this log. Pick it up in theory. But I need to do some changes because of course now, well, we should carry the log. So I'm gonna go up here, do a new custom event, and this will be a carry log. And I'm gonna go and basically move all of this to be on this little event. And I'm gonna put this over here, put this over here, and put this over here. So now by default, when we start the game, we will not have our, um, you know, log system, but we will do it a bit after, which is here. So we'll do the uh, carry log. And now, if I pick it up, I can now go ahead and carry and place it. And now also when we place a build, we need to basically stop carrying, right? So we can see uh, we have the build here. And when we, when we do this, we're gonna get the components of build preview mesh and basically destroy component. As simple as that. And now I can go pick this up boom and we don't have it anymore and i cannot place or anything like that actually we can place so i'm gonna make sure that we only continue if the build preview mesh right click is validated okay it's validated means that it exists and now we don't have the arrows if we go build and then try to build everything is good 
Now, one last little thing is going to be adding the lug as in the player's shoulder. So let's go to the mesh, add a static mesh, which will be the lug itself. And let's add the lug as a static mesh. And then I'm going to search for the shoulder. OK, actually, I don't think we have a bone for the shoulder, but we have for pretty much the upper arm clavicle and all that stuff that I think that mm, I mean, let's do clavicle R. This will work. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate this around yeah, 60 degrees. And I'm going to make this a bit smaller because it's huge. <laughs> OK, so maybe 0 0.7 or 0 0.9, 0 0.8. I think 0 0.8 will work a bit better. I'm going to place it over the shoulder. OK, so it looks like he's going ahead and building. And then I'm going to go ahead and make sure that uh, collision is disabled. And then by default, we're going to search the visibility to be false. And then only thing left will be when we carry the log, we will get this log and then set the visibility to basically be visible so we can see it. And I'm also going to go down and when we place the build when I get the log and now set the visibility to be the reverse. So basically disabled. So unchecked. And now by default, we don't have the log. We pick it up. It's in our shoulders. And now we place it and it's not there. And then, of course, if we were to have a lot of logs, we could go and, you know, um, build our own base over here, which is pretty cool. So that's it, guys. If found this video helpful, I would blip shade it. You could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials, so check them out. Remember, they have full access to the project files through Patreon or YouTube members. Follow me on my socials, join my Discord server, and now just plus it. Bye bye.